Hey, a fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Worcester, Vermont today, and uh, this gorgeous building screamed my name. So, how do you think it started life? It has a bell up there, and uh, that's a clue, and so are the windows. But uh, if we were to run through a short list of buildings that would have a bell on top, maybe we can figure this out. So, let's see, perhaps a fire station. But no, that answer is a quick no. And, uh, and I know that none of us meant to say that. And why would that be? Well, because first of all, there'd be one, probably one, but perhaps two doors um, on the front and the back uh, because the, they would have been horse-drawn fire carriages at the time, and this clearly did not have that. I mean, I don't even see an outline of anything like that. So, uh, they put it on the front and the back door the, the same. The uh, foundation is, uh, really too high for that, and, um, so no, the, Plus, a fire station would have had a tower on it uh, to dry the hoses. So, not a fire station. Let me see. Could have been a factory or a mill because the bells, the um, yeah, the, the um, bell would have been used to tell them when to start work, when to go to lunch, when to come back from lunch, and uh, when to leave for the day. But uh, this doesn't look like a factory or a mill building, and I know it's not. Um, and uh, it could have been a church, perhaps. I mean, we've seen double doors before for men and women, um, but the windows are wrong. Now, um, don't be worried about the fact that it has no steeple, because oftentimes in little towns, the churches did not have steeples because the wind would blow them off. So they just saved the step and the money. Um, but no, not a church either. So how did this start life? If you said school, ding, 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 you are correct. This is the Worcester Village School, an historic school building in Worcester, Vermont. It was built in 1892 and is a good early example of a town-wide partially graded school with restrained Queen Anne features. It served as a school until 1979 and is now owned by the local historical society. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2005. The former village school, Worcester Village School building, stands on the south side of Callis Road, a short way east of the crossroads center of Worcester's main village. It is a two and a half story wood frame building with a front facing gable roof and exterior finished mainly in wooden clapboards. The front facade is symmetrical with a pair of entrances sheltered by a hip roofed single story porch supported by camphor square posts. Bands of fish scale shingles separate the first and second floors with paired sash windows on the second floor. The eastern side of the building has bands of sash windows toward the rear, providing significant natural light to the classroom spaces. The interior is virtually intact, with front vestibules leading to large classroom spaces, which occupy most of each floor. The only major alteration is that portions of the vestibule have been turned into restrooms. The school was built in 1892 and is a rare example of a two-room 19th century schoolhouse. It is also noted for the quality of the surviving exterior Queen Anne elements. The school was built after the state abolished the district school system and served grades one through four on the ground floor and five through eight on the upper floor. The district school it replaced was moved across the street and converted into a residence. This building was used as a school until 1979 and served from 1980 to 2004 as a daycare center and is now owned by the local historical society. In fact, let's just take a quick, a quick um, walk over to the signage. Um, we can now give you a circular look. I wonder if that had been the schoolhouse there, but you know, I, I don't know. 
directly across the street is some modern building. So that's not it. But here we can see that the society, the Worcester Historical Society, was founded in 2002. So 2022 is its 20th anniversary. So congratulations to them. All right, so <laughs> looks like outhouses out back. <laughs> I should do a video on the uh, some of the science of an outhouse. You'd probably be surprised. I know I was when I read about it. But uh, all right, so. There was uh, the uh, one through four on the first floor and the five through eight on the second floor. And uh, I've never been inside. Like I said, I've never been to Worcester, Vermont before. So the uh, fish scales are, let's see, on the other side of the building. Yes, on the side of the building. We had snow, and they actually have snow on the ground here. So, uh, so here and there, separating the the first and second floors. You'll be able to see my photographs on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook, Traveling for History, one Ellen Traveling. The clapboards are these wooden boards, wooden uh, horizontal boards right here that go down. It's spelled clapboard, but it's pronounced clapboard. Now, when they say restrained Queen Anne, I mean, the Queen Anne style, uh, ranged somewhere between the later 1870s and sometime in the early 1900s. Um, so restrained, yeah. Queen Anne tends to be the reason to put everything, including the kitchen sink, on your house. And uh, it's kind of unfortunate it's all painted white so you can't see the beautiful delineation of the fish scales from the clabbered. But uh, here, you can see the decoration on the porch railing. So let's do a bit of a walk around. I mean, the um, it's interesting, in the 1930s in Vermont, these larger windows were required on a school building to let in more light. And uh, it does say that these were installed when the building was built. Uh, what was that, 1892? Yes, 1892. So that's good. That's good. Oh, we can see the bell from up here. Hmm, hard to see. I think you can make it out though. I know that's not gonna be a great picture when you see it because I have digital zoom, not optical zoom. So it's gonna look blurry. Good strong foundation. Look at that stone foundation. The ground here is wickedly uneven. It's, it's interesting though, almost every historical society I have done a walk around of, because they're often on, those buildings are often on the National Register, the blinds have been drawn. Maybe it's so the uh, items inside don't get ruined by the sun, because you can see there's a lot of sun coming in. Some more windows on the back here. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get a, a straight-on photo for you. I don't think I can step far enough back 
because here you can see it it goes down and uh, and it's a lot of stuff like this right here let's see what I can do for you I'll sort of straight on and it's two stories worth of windows of course, there's this gabled roof up there. If you watch my video, The Road is Calling, then, uh, you know, I said in that video that I was going to be driving about an hour, and this was over an hour uh, to get here, so. I was just wondering if this were an original door, and I think it was. It looks like it, and it has hardware that suggests it was, too. Um, although, although, yeah, I, I still think it was original. Clearly, uh, this is not. <laughs> and then here, we have these right here. And uh, it's on a skiff. Maybe they're not original to this school. Or maybe they're trying to protect it from the snow. But the snow will get much deeper than this anyway. Nifty. I like Nifty. All right, let's continue the walk around of this place here. It's nice to have a, a roof over top of the stairs. Not that that keeps snow off, because snow blows, of course, but it keeps the majority of the snow off. It's a metal roof, too. And there's the outhouse. This is what I think is an outhouse. More windows on this side. We can see the storm windows are on. The windows are frosted. Don't know if you can tell that because of the cold. <laughs> and look at that. The water coming down the gutter has frozen. Wow. How cool is that? I do believe this is an emergency exit nowadays, but uh, and it's not padlocked either. No padlock on there. That's good for safety reasons. I'm sure you can imagine. Look at that itty bitty bench. Holy cow. My guess is this is a seasonal place. Transom windows over the top there and there. Um, transom window was really an early form of, of cooling, of a cooling system. So air comes into the door and as it, as it rises, it's heating. So hot air is up higher. The uh, transom window when open would draw the hot air out and the door down here would draw cooler air in and it would work like that until either the door or the transom window was closed. Pretty neat. And the flagpole holder right here. How cool is that?
I love this detail right here, too. Lovely. Really lovely. Alrighty, well, this is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. I'm on all the social media you are. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. And uh, except for Twitter, I'm traveling for history. Everywhere, one L and traveling. On uh, Twitter, I'm traveling for high one. Traveling for H-I and numeral one. Uh, this video will be a premiere video. In fact, my regular full-length videos are premiere videos. And uh, that means it's a live chat. So, hey, feel free to uh, to uh, log on and uh, come chat. Every, all my videos, all of my videos, regardless of their premieres or not, go live at 12.30 a.m. So, please join me if you will. So, this is Patricia. Appreciate your watching. And until I see you again, which is likely tomorrow, have a fabulous night. Bye.